this side, I gone ahead and pulled that knot out again. That's okay. I just put a little more tension here. all through um, the knife's been through for a while already but I just finally wanted to get it to the spot where I thought it was presentable as a gift this is going as a gift to a relative of mine um, holster is kind of like you know it's a it's it does the job I mean the sheath does the job you know I'm gonna do better with the machine though I did part of this with the all stitcher broke the needle on the all stitcher so I just ran this through the machine didn't do half bad, you know, it worked okay. Had some complications with the machine after work out though. Then I put a little uh, paracord lanyard, the couple uh, metal beads on the end of it here, grab onto. So the blade itself um, turned out pretty good. Uh, some, you know, machining marks, stuff like that that are in there. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, Got a decent hollow grind, decent symmetry, and there's the uh, ABS material that I used. I didn't have any fiber material, so I used ABS. ABS, you got to really be careful because it can melt on you. A couple scratches up in here that are a little too deep for my taste, but it's a loveless style, drop point style knife. And it's all through, made out of 01 steel. So that's my Christmas gift for for a relative of mine. So we're gonna go go to do a party. I'm gonna give this to him. Does a lot of hunting. And got a decent edge on it too. You know, I'll probably put his own edge on it though. The good thing about the steel is it's it is it it really if you're not careful and you put this stuff away like in a wet sheath it'll rust pretty good on you in the tapered tang part of the knife I didn't do that I didn't really get that breathtaking loveless style because in a loveless knife you can see the whole thing just like you know, it looks triangular it's so perfect I didn't get that I got kind of a of a taper to it somewhat but I didn't get that lo real loveless style taper to it he also uses a, a stainless steel guard on that model and he also was only uh, like three a little over three inches long this is a longer blade this is like a five inch blade no five four and a half five inch blade and uh, I got the sheath I got the sheath down to where um, I could put the sheath in here like this I just put the knife in here like this you can see that? Hear that? It just kind of clicks in there. You know, it doesn't come out too easily. So I, got, I did pretty good on the sheath design itself. This is probably the sheath I'm going to use for my fixed blades from now on out. Well, there it is. It's a done deal. Glad it's done.